Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but I have to give her a hat tip. She actually did send over the story yesterday. We're going to talk about missing anime. Missing anime because of streaming, because of uh, some, some movement in streaming that Funimation has officially shut down and uh, other factors. There are several anime series out there that do not have a streaming home. And some of these titles are out of print, so you can't buy physical copies either. They've basically just gone missing. And, uh, you know, this is why when you can, if you love a show, you should buy a physical copy of it, um, you know, current year, because everybody is trying to push you into going digital. And I made this mistake. I've talked about it in videos before that I converted a large portion of our Blu-ray and DVD library to digital with Vudu because I didn't want the clutter of having a bunch of DVDs on the shelf. And we had, God knows we had like thousands of DVDs. I did the same thing with my music collection when we moved uh, back when we first got married. And I wish to God I hadn't done that because I had vinyl and CDs, tons and tons of CDs. I, I used to be a DJ. I don't know if I ever talked about that before, but I used to actually have uh, a radio show. I used to have an uh, alt rock radio show, and uh, it was years ago. But I had a massive collection of CDs, and uh, some of the stuff was actually pretty rare. But I got rid of it because I'm like, ah, oh, I have room for it. And uh, everything's on everything's on Amazon Music now anyway, right? Everything's on digital now anyway. I don't need to have the physical copies. And now I'm wishing to God I did because some of those albums I had, I, I can't get anymore. Or if I do want to get them. I have to pay through the nose to find them because they're out of print for various reasons. There's several I can think of off the top of my head that like, damn, I can't get this anywhere or I can't get the original version of it. So I'm telling you, uh, as an old head, buy as much physical media as you can. Buy your favorites, at least uh, in physical. And let's let's talk about this before we get into it any further Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views and rants, guys. Um, let's talk about Funimation first. Funimation is done. And uh, comicbook.com has the story. They said that there are about 200 titles that are missing from Crunchyroll now because Funimation and Crunchyroll merged. Sony bought Crunchyroll off of Warner Brothers, who didn't want it. And we told you years ago that something was going to happen to Crunchyroll. We thought it was going to get rolled into HBO Max. But apparently Sony wanted it, so they bought it. Well, then they effectively had two streaming services, two anime streaming services and two brands. And they felt that Crunchyroll was the bigger name. So they, they sunset Funimation, which is so weird because Funimation has been around forever. As long as I can remember almost, uh, I mean, they were one of the first companies, not the first, but one of the first companies to release Dragon Ball. And they became a major, major player in the anime space. They kind of became a monopoly, but they also had a lot of controversy. And I have to wonder if part of the reason they chose Crunchyroll over Funimation wasn't because of all the drama associated with Funimation, like the Vic Mignogna situation and, and all of that, that the Funimation brand was damaged. I have to wonder. But anyway, um, yeah, so they merged the two streaming services together and there's a whole bunch of stuff missing. On social media, according to comicbook.com, fans have come together to list the missing titles that Crunchyroll has yet to post from Funimation. Currently, there are 192 titles listed. Uh, for some of these shows, their sub or dub may be missing, if not both. So for a full breakdown of the impacted series, you can read the full list here, courtesy of Big on Anime. Okay, let's go out to this and see. Wow. Okay, there are a lot. Um, sub not streaming, dub only. Sub only through um, DC, sub license, live action. So these are the ones that are missing. Funimation.com, North America streaming content, not moved to Crunchyroll. This is a Google Doc. There's a lot. Angel Links. We actually have Angel Links. We actually have some of the cells from that. Uh, believe it or not, we do. Armitage 3. That one was like a permanently parked at Blockbuster. There's a lot here. Um, Boogie Pop Phantom. I'm just going to run through. Obviously, I'm not going to read this whole list, but uh, you can read it on the screen if you're watching the, the video version of this episode. And you can see there's a lot. Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland. God, that's one of my favorite animated things ever. And we have that on, we do have that on physical and I'm not parting with it. Um, in fact, at one point in time, I know the physical copies were going for a lot of money and we were tempted to sell it, but I'm like, this one's weird. I don't think it's going to be available. Um, 
anytime soon. I don't know if they've re-released it since then or not, but we, we will not part with that. You're gonna have to pry that one out of my cold, dead hands. I freaking love that movie so much. I love the game too. The game was really good. Um, yeah, God, there's uh street fighter assassins fist. Wow. Slayers. A lot of slayers is missing. That's actually another one of my favorite series, but we have all of the slayers on DVD. Uh, Escafoni, the movie, uh, you're not really missing much. Oh, okay. So the series is gone too. Yeah. I love the series. I don't like the movie that much. Uh, the Tenchi series, OVAs are missing. Tenchi universe is missing Th These are some pretty big series. They're just gone. Uh, yeah. So let's go out to giant freaking robot. They have it too. An hour ago, they said, uh, you know, they talked about how Funimation helped to bring major anime to the West. That's true. 192 titles are missing. Some fan favorites are missing. Uh, it's the end of an era. It is. Yeah. There's Escafone. It, it is weird. Um, they said it's the end of an era, but in all honesty, it's been a long time coming. For those who aren't aware, Funimation and Crunchyroll have been in Sony's possession for quite some time. Yeah, it was weird, but it was weird how they did. And they bought right stuff, too, and then they shut that down. Crunchyroll is the biggest name in anime streaming. And that's why they chose, I believe, Crunchyroll over Funimation. Um, but, yeah, it's definitely um, it's weird. It's weird. Uh, they said it's important to note that Crunchyroll does plan on bringing Funimation's anime library to its site. On the company's website, Crunchyroll confirms the majority, the majority of Funimation's catalog has been migrated. However, there's still more to go. Yeah, well, there's obviously quite a few. Please keep an eye on our news page and uh, our anime lineup for further updates. Our team is working daily to bring more content to all of our fans. As you can imagine, some of the shows placed on this list have more sway on fans than others. Black Butler's. Black Butler is missing. I didn't, I didn't even notice that. Um, yeah. With Funimation gone, anime fan news or uh, anime fans new and old are taking time to look back at the company. Created in 94, they helped make some anime more accessible to millions. Uh, Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, One Piece, these iconic series got their start stateside under Funimation. Did One Piece? I thought that was, that was four kids. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Funimation as... Uh, ridiculous as they got in their later years they were definitely an entry point for this generation of anime fans now i'm older i remember streamlined pictures i remember carl masek i remember uh adv AD at one point in time adv was the biggest thing there was like adv films and then they blew themselves up i don't even understand i'd have to look into that i'm not fully aware of what happened with adv but they had they were like the biggest thing out there and then they like blew themselves up and uh but we did get evangelion out of it we got ghost stories out of it and so many others but yeah there's a lot of stuff missing again this is a really good reason uh for you to look into at least buying your favorites on physical because you don't know how long they're going to be around on streaming you don't know if they're going to be altered on streaming you can't count on them being there forever. And do you want, I mean, just, just for like a handful of movies that you like or shows that you like, do you want to be beholden to these streaming companies? Like you got to pay 10, 15, $20 a month forever just to be able to watch your favorite shows. Or you could just buy them once on physical and watch them wherever the hell you want to without commercials, without logins, without them tracking you. It just seems like a better deal to me. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe. We'll talk later.